Yeah, I think for me one of the most startling things that um, has been pointed out to me uh, in the Balanced View teaching um, and by my, by my teacher is that the great potency of nature itself is inseparable from each and every person exactly as they are. And um, there are so many ways um, that we learn to avoid that. <laughs> There's so many ways that we learn to avoid that. And the reason we learn to avoid it is because it's never been pointed out to us that that's what it is before. And so, I grew up in uh, West Wales next to the coast and um, I was always fascinated by the sea and uh, particularly on stormy days where waves would, you know, 20, 30 foot high waves crashing over the, the breakwater in the bay where I grew up. And um, the sea has no problem with that whatsoever. <laughs> um, and neither do we. When we have intense emotions, intense um, streams of thoughts and sensations in our bodies, there is nothing about that that's threatening. <laughs> um, however, if we've learned that there's something about that that's threatening, this is why we then become accustomed to trying to avoid it in many different ways. <clears throat> and um, One way, for example, that I used to avoid it, and still do to some extent, but much less, is to delay my um, basic innate satisfaction, my basic innate potency, that when I've finished my to-do list, then I will be at ease, or then I will be um, satisfied then I will allow myself to enjoy what is naturally potent and at ease about myself. Or once I have finished my course, or once I have finished my day's work, or um, once I'm out of this situation, or once I'm in that situation, once I've uh, acquired this particular thing, once I've got rid of that particular thing, then I will allow myself. Um, but at some stage you have to just decide to allow that for yourself right now. <laughs> um, because you're... See, I, I always have this naive feeling that my future self is obviously a very responsible person. <laughs> he will allow himself to enjoy open intelligence. I'll just, I'll just uh, designate that job to him, my future self. He'll do it. He's great. I, I want to continue avoiding reality as it is because that's what's comfortable to me. That's what I'm used to. Um, but it doesn't matter how many times I um, delegate this job to my future self. He also tries to delegate it to his future self. <laughs> so um, it always proves itself to be an ineffective approach. At some point we have to choose right now that we're going to fully enjoy ourselves exactly as we are. Whether it's comfortable or uncomfortable, pleasant or unpleasant, familiar or unfamiliar. Whatever we're feeling is, is the intelligence of nature. Everything that is showing itself in our mind, everything that we feel in our body, it's the intelligence of nature. What else could it be? <laughs> and since we have, we, have a, we have a basic respect, I think, for, for reality, for nature, I think we're hardwired that way. We have a basic respect for nature, and just the, it's just miraculous to us, you know. It's a, it's a total 
um, it's a total miracle <laughs> you know that we find ourselves here we have no idea how you know like there's lots of we, we, you know we understand more and more and we learn we learn more and more as a as an as a race of human beings with time um, but in a very simple way, we really don't have any idea why we're here. <laughs> Just like, wow, that's so random. It could easily not be that, but for some reason it is. And there's all this stuff, and we're aware of it, and it's amazing. We don't know how it works. Um, it's an absolute miracle. So this incredible magic of nature, this incredible intelligence, this open intelligence of nature. The key is to realize that we are that as well. We're not an independent being who is trying to interact with nature. We are nature. <laughs> we are inseparable from everything we see, everything we hear, everything we experience. If you, if you use a really strong microscope and look at the edge of somebody's body, you can't, there is no edge. <laughs> so through the training and through having support. And to be very frank, it's very difficult without support to become familiar with open intelligence. It's just the way it is. Maybe it won't be in the future. Hopefully it won't be in the future. But it's difficult to become familiar with open intelligence without support, without having it be pointed out to us again and again without knowing people for whom it is obvious, without having a relationship with somebody for whom <coughs> it is obvious, and for whom it's not only obvious about themselves, but it's obvious to them that the same applies to you, <laughs> that everything you are is the, the indescribable perfection of nature. To know somebody like that, to have a relationship with somebody like that, who not only sees that, but is available to you to help you to see that. <laughs> this is a very valuable relationship. And this is something that Balanced View offers. Um, <clears throat> I think it's a basic birthright to everybody that they should have somebody in their life that truly knows them as they are. The brilliance of nature. And so just to come back to this point again and again we can recognize this about ourselves again and again. And what will really root it, what will really root our assurance in that, is to do that during times when we do feel particularly uncomfortable. That's where we really find assurance of the benefit of open intelligence. Because when, when we have something in our life that we have always struggled with, <laughs> we've always been desperate to figure out how to not have this experience, <laughs> be it fear or jealousy, anger, fancying someone, anxiety, <laughs> self-disgust, disgust, feeling that other people are disgusted with us, rejection, 
all of these things are incredible opportunities. And to take that opportunity, the, me the mechanics of taking that opportunity is to allow it to be exactly as it is. <laughs> Because then you see that that experience, well, we see many things about that. Firstly, that what we are, so the first time we do that, it's, it, it feels kind of new, kind of vulnerable, unfamiliar. When we feel that strong emotion or bodily sensation that, we, that we've <coughs> always just habitually wanted to shuffle away from. <laughs> And when we allow that to just potentiate almost, and we wonder if we're going to explode or we don't know what's going to happen because we've never allowed it to be before. <laughs> but just stay there, remain relaxed, just remain relaxed. And then you see that it just goes. <laughs> and even more importantly, you see with increasing conviction that even while it's there, you're completely fine. You're completely fine. Just like the sea is fine when the waves are intense. Just like a crystal ball is fine when, when the reflections inside it are more colorful than usual. <laughs> So to know this about ourselves um, is a very powerful preparation for everything that we will experience. To know our basic dignity as nature itself. And through that, to know what it's like for everybody to be a human being. To come to know ourselves as we are. In a sense, we come to know everybody as they are. And this is what compassion is. When we really allow ourselves to be as we are, we feel very directly what it's like for everybody and the preoccupation with needing to correct our own experience is replaced with a habit of leaving our experience to be as it is and to feel everything fully and naturally for ourselves and for everybody. And, how, and the incredible commonality there is between us all the things that we definitely, definitely share. <laughs> that there will be such an array of experiences in our lives. And it's so crucial that we learn this basic skill of kindness with ourselves. Everybody's going to die. <laughs> Most human beings who have existed are now dead. <laughs> completely natural. Just as natural as every natural process. completely natural. <laughs> in birth, in life and in death we are exalted as nature itself. And even if there is fears, regrets or anything else that might come, we can know with assurance that we can allow that to be as it is. Anything might come on our deathbed. 
anything can come right now. <laughs> and so to, to feel assured within ourselves now, whenever we naturally remember for short moments, allowing everything to be as it is, we will know the nature of death even without having arrived there before. <laughs> yet. <laughs> There's something so beautiful about everything exactly as it is. And when, when we don't need to control it anymore, when we need to control it, then, it, then it's just a pain in the bum. <laughs> <clears throat> Everything, well, many things are a pain in the bum <laughs> because it isn't our plan for how reality should unfold. <laughs> and it's so annoying that we can't ever seem to quite get to grips with it. <laughs> why doesn't my mind stay in the present? Or why doesn't. Why do I feel anxious now? I don't want to feel anxious. Or why it's so annoying? Why, does, why is it so random? We want it to be a certain way. And it doesn't matter how, how hard we try. It never seems to accord with our preferences. <laughs> so if that's our view of reality, then it's just problem after problem, inevitably. And it's not because reality is full of problems. It's because we have misunderstood reality. <laughs> we have misunderstood the nature of ourselves, the nature of our mind. So in short moments, we train ourselves. We experiment. It's very fun. <laughs> Allow everything to be as it is. And sometimes you'll, you'll notice what's going on and you'll recognize that you're not doing that. And then you can resume, once again, allowing everything to be as it is. You don't have to think about it, really. Just relax. You know, like, well, am I letting it be as it is? And what, what does that mean? Just, if you start thinking about it and worrying about it, just relax. <laughs> and then with support, it's very natural that we would gain familiarity with this true love of open intelligence. It's not even something we have to effort for particularly. <laughs> if we have support and, we're, and we are interested in gaining familiarity with open intelligence, then it'll just happen. <laughs> no problem. 